Hello students. So far we have discussed about different mineral structures like isomorphism and polymorphism. We've also discussed polytypism. Now let's discuss about another type of structure. We call it as pseudomorphism or pseudomorphs. If a crystal of a mineral is altered so that the internal structure or chemical composition is changed, but the external form is preserved. Then we call it as a pseudomorph. The term is derived from a Greek word having a meaning of false form, pseudomorph. That is, the existence of a mineral with the, the outward crystal form is of another mineral species, but internally it is different. The chemical composition and structure of a pseudomorph belongs to one mineral species, whereas the crystal form corresponds to another. Chemically and structurally, the mineral belongs to one species, whereas the crystal form corresponds to another type of mineral. A good example for which is pyrite, having a composition of FeS2, it may change into limonite, the composition of which is FeO dot OH and H2O, but it will preserve all external features of the pyrite. Limonite is an oxide of iron which is formed by the alteration of pyrite. Such a crystal is described as a pseudomorph of limonite after pyrite because the mineral limonite is formed from the original mineral called pyrite. Pseudomorphs usually are further defined according to the manner in which they are formed. There are basically three types of processes in which a pseudomorph may be formed. The first one of which is substitution. In substitution what happens is gradual removal of the original material and a corresponding and simultaneous replacement of it by another mineral. There is no chemical reaction occurs between the two minerals. Example, the substitution of silica for wood fiber to form a petrified wood. It would preserve all the fibrous nature of the wood but essentially will be composed of silica. Another example is quartz having a composition of SiO2 after fluoride which is having a composition of CaF2. So the substitution causes a simultaneous replacement of one mineral to another. So that is what we call it as substitution pseudomorphs. Now there is something called encrustation in which a crust of one mineral is deposited over the crystals of another. Example, quartz encrusting cubes of fluoride. The fluoride may later be carried completely away by the solution but its former presence is indicated by the cast left in the quartz. And a third type is alteration. Alteration pseudomorphs, a partial addition of new material or a partial removal of the original material is characterized. The example for which is the change of anhydride. Anhydride is having a composition of CaSO4 and that is converted to gypsum by taking water molecules into it. So, gypsum having a composition of CaSO4 to H2O and the change in change of galena that is lead sulfate PBS to anglesite having PBSO4 composition. These are examples of alteration pseudomorphs. Here what happens is you have a partial addition of a new material or a partial removal of the original material may happen. Thank you.